So what's up everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. My name is Liz Nasra. In case you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, like and also share. Don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the one to get notified. So welcome to another cooking vlog where I'm going to be showing you how we make Egyptian um Mist meat stuffed in a potato, okay? So our ingredients I'm going to be showing you but before I tell you that please make sure you like Subscribe and also hit that like button, okay and share button. You can also join our membership. All right, so let's get to the uh, to the um, To the video and please don't forget to tell me what you think of the recipe. All right, so let's get to know the ingredients So our ingredients are very very simple. Okay, you can see um we have minced meat, all right. We have minced meat there. We have our um, onion. We need uh, potatoes. We need uh, spices. Spices are of your choice. We need black pepper and the cumin. I need salt and I need this uh, cooking oil. So let's get to the cooking. Start by, uh, we will start by preparing our minced meat, okay. As you can see, these are minced meat over here. I don't know if the lighting is okay, so you're going to forgive me about that. Okay, so in our pot, we have already chopped our onion into small, uh, small, small, small pieces, all right? So in our pot, we are going to add some oil, enough oil to cook our, our minced meat. Then we get in and add our minced meat. I don't know if this is how you prepare your your minced meat or first you fry your, your onion, I don't know. Then you add in your onion that way. You're my rose, but I still give you your flowers. Takupenda sahi, nakasi sahi. Okay, we add in our spices, so balance your spices. But I spend my two days with you. Then our salt to taste.
be adding one by one we really made our <laughs> our oil to become so hot so we are adding one by one to avoid the even if I think I made it the pan to be so hot. There we go, like you can see. We let it to cook a little. Don't mind my pan, it overheated, that's why it turned the color. So after it cooks one side, you need to keep turning it the other side for it to get uh, ready. Let me see. We need to be half cooked, half cooked. That's what we want. recording myself and still thinking about the oil not to burn me so I'm using the fork so that I can uh, turn one by one okay yes, so I'm gonna let it cook the other side and we're going to remove it So this is our next step make sure your hands are clean okay so. yes so you take your potato put in your minced meat like you can see make sure you don't tear your your potato Actually, you can even eat it like this if you want it. If you do, you feel like you don't want to continue with the cooking, you can actually eat it like this. Okay? Yes. So I've been waiting. I've been like uh, wanting to do this for a while, but hey. Finding time, finding time is uh, the wahala, <laughs> the problem.
So this is how far we are. Can you see? So you arrange them. The hole that has a um, that has the minced meat facing up, not down. Yes, don't just put it the way you want. Yes, so arrange them nicely to even look presentable. So I'm going to be baking them by uh, using my air fryer or you can use even your oven, you can use the gas. Or charcoal it's up to you but mostly use the one that will um, provide heat provide a uh, hey provide heat even up there okay yes I don't know this profile is coming from where the providing hey, hey, hey. So there we go, we're done. Sorry for that noise. So we'll try and push it. We'll try to push it in there. So that's how it looks can you see if it is yummy even before me continuing with the, with the cooking okay so if if you want to eat it like that because the potatoes are ready and this one is ready that means to me you can eat it but if you want to continue the cooking you can add in some water just little to avoid it um, burning and uh, yes yeah, so we, we have added in some water can you see in there added in some water so we're going to put it in the air fryer fryer okay we're going to put in our our food and uh, we need degrees we need it to be 180 sorry I forgot 180 degrees okay So we need to put uh, it inside after after 15, after 20 minutes because I added five more minutes is what we got. Yo, see that? Yeah, see that seems to be so so nice, man. I mean it. Sorry, my kid was going outside to the balcony, so you can see this is what he have. Yes. Yeah, so after you're frying it, this is what you get. Trying to get one out. So it's very hot, man. Very, very hot. Can you see? Yes, yeah, so let me bite one and then. So after testing, this is how it looks. The camera isn't focusing. I don't know why. So okay. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please make sure. You subscribe if you're not subscribed. So see you next time. Thank you so much.